Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric, second part to this video on the motel power outage. I um, want to show you this real quick. So we got all this cleaned up, the deoxin, the lugs set to their temperature, or to their uh, foot-pounds rating, inch-pounds in this scenario. And then also up here it landed. Um, now you can see in here, you see some of the exitic, exit, exciticness going on inside of this panel. We know this panel's dead, I've already tested it. If this panel was not dead, you'd blow yourself up pretty sky high with this going phase to phase like that. We're going to get in here and we're going to do what my dentist does. We're going to clean off some plaque. Again, this is single phase. 122.08 right now. Why that matters is because anytime you have a buildup of whether it's going to be corrosive material like this or it's going to be carbon dust from leftover from a switch or contactor breaking. Anytime that starts to insulate and bake itself around the conductor, your electrons will not flow and therefore Article 110.14 again, your connections are not going to have a good connection so therefore things will overheat if there's resistance. And once that resistance is there and it starts to heat, then it really starts to melt. So you start to lose your value. Um, anyways, we're also going to come inside here and get our neutral bar, our ground bar, our ground and our neutral bar. Now be careful that you don't sit there and you start rubbing on your wires and we'll get all of that done and cleaned up and we'll pop these breakers back in to give us a better connection in here for the breakers to the bus bar. Anyways guys, thanks for joining us. Have a good week.